The easiest way to add a link to Facebook on your Google site is simply to place a Facebook logo and have that link uh, take users to your page on Facebook. Um, we don't necessarily have to use that logo, so uh, what we're going to do is actually link the, the Swiffy uh, web page, Google site, to the Swiffy uh, Facebook page, and we're going to pick a Facebook logo using Google Images. So I'm just going to Google Facebook logo, and there's a nice feature um, with Google Images in that if we know what size of photo or image we want, we can actually search for something exactly that size. So in this case, uh, I'm going to place the logo right here, and I can figure out if I open this image and um, I can figure out that it's 200 pixels wide. So right up here in the in the title bar, it says 200 by 200 pixels. Um, there's a number of ways you could figure that out. Um, you might be able to inspect the element if you're using Firefox, and it would show you in the in the right hand column here um, the width. If you do know the width, you can actually search Google Images for an image that width. So here's a bunch of Facebook logos. Down on the left, um, on the left sidebar, you can search for something that's exactly 200 pixels wide. Okay, and then I'm just going to pick this image right here, click on that, and then right click and save that image to my computer. Go back to my Google site, make sure I'm logged in. If I'm not logged in, I'll sign in at the bottom here, there'll be a sign in link. And then I'm going to hit edit page or letter E. And I'll put my cursor where I want that image to go and go to insert image. Then actually upload the image from my computer. I'm going to add some alt text. And the last step is you can actually uh, link to um, the Facebook page. So I guess I'm going to align it to the center and then hit change where it says go to this link when you click on it. And change that. Oops. There we go. So that's the link for the Swifty Facebook page. I'm just going to copy that and paste that in here. And hit OK. Uh, so then I'll save the page. And the next time somebody goes to click that link, I'll actually take them right to the Swifty Facebook page. That's it.